all right welcome back everyone to another unboxing and this time we are going to take a look at the avenger 96 this is a new re newly released board from arrow we have partnership with st that's the main sock um of course we have 96 boards on there we have dh electronics we have windborne probably for the memory we have microchip analog devices mainly for the hdmi port uh driver and a bunch of other things um mu rata cypress molex um uh, these uh, people are sort of part of this endeavor so we'll open this up and take a look at the board itself uh, and later on in another video we'll do the whole uh, software side of things uh, boot it up for the first time and things like that so let's open it up we have the board itself now if it looks like it's been taken out of the box before it has uh, i was playing around with it so we'll open it up and uh, take it out of the box there and we have our pink film open that up and there we have the board itself so it comes with an sd card pre-installed right so this is the main board we've got hdmi we've got micro usb b uh we've got two usb 2 ports um this is our emmc this is not a sock um that's probably our hdmi driver from the looks of it um and then we have the ethernet port here uh, that's a gigabit ethernet port and we have a bunch of power related stuff down there so very minimal looking pcb on the top a lot of the boards are very uh, consistent but that's just how the design is so the reason the pcb is itself the main pcb it's where that it's because it's sort of based on a song um so this is not the kind of a song that you can take out necessarily but it's actually uh soldered soldered down to the board using bga um and but the SOM itself houses the STM32 MP1, which is the main processor in this case. And I'll bring it a bit closer. So our main processor are one gig of RAM and I'll go over the processor spec in a second uh, and a bunch of other um, onboard power related stuff. And we also have a QSPI flash. This is a little two megabyte flash. To hold your bootloader or if you go really really bare um, in terms of your operating system you can actually have a 2 megabyte os boot linux um, like they, you have to be really constrained on what you install on it uh, but you can still do that uh, you have a bunch of test points down there a couple of jtag headers that are not populated but you can populate them on your own and uh, yeah so that's that's the board so uh we have an rtc clock up here um, a holder for our rtc clock battery you can boot from sd card internal emmc or spi flash the switches are right there you have your power and reset so let's take a look at the specs of uh, of the board itself and the sock as well so on the sock you have a dual core cortex a7 processor at 650 megahertz uh, and a single core cortex a uh, cortex m4 at 209 megahertz so that's a real-time processor so again from the specs this is meant to be a very low power uh, application uh, sort of a deal so that means your cortex a7 cores will not run all the time what's all running all the time is the m4 core and once uh, sort of the requirement of the cortex a7 cores arises the M4 core wakes it up, uh, so uh, the Linux is in, is in a sleep state, it wakes it up and then it starts to boot Linux from there. Uh, not boot but resume its operation and then it goes back into sleep state for a long time. Uh, so this is sort of how these uh, low power Cortex A7 and M M4 um, heterogeneous uh, multi-core CPU architectures work. Um, uh, and of course there's nothing stopping you from running everything all the time but that's not the use case you are on the gpu sides you actually have a vivante uh, 3d gpu capable of opengl es 2.0 now as far as i know it's the vivante gc 7000 Lite, uh, which is running at 533 megahertz there's a one gig of lpddr3 memory again at 533 megahertz 
and of course you have your 8 gigabytes of emmc 2 megabytes of spi and an sd card slot up there um, uh, your gigabit ethernet you also have wi-fi on board uh, so that is a um, that's a 802.11 bgn so that will give you to uh, your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz wi-fi so that's about it for the initial unboxing of the Avenger 96. Uh, I hope you all liked the video. Make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the 96 Boats channel. We'll be posting much more on this board really soon. Uh, we'll take a look at what the software stack is and what all works. And um, make sure to uh, join us for openers every Thursday 4 p.m. UTC. We talk a lot about tech and ARM um, tech and 96 boards stuff in general. We have a lot of guests on there all the time, so you do get to like talk to people live as well as you know just watch uh, as a live stream uh, if you want to do that. So thank you so much for watching uh, and I will see you all in the next one.